on how I create my app previews or screenshots for the Apple App Store. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating this app preview for a 6.5 screen. So we're going to go to create new. And then the document size for that is actually 1242 by 2688. So we're going to click that right here. And then what I like to do is I like to add in my own screenshot. So the screenshot I'm going to go with is going to be this one right here. All right, so this app right here is called Permi Match. It's my off-grid homestead dating app. Um, I have it on the Android app store and I'm working on the iPhone app store. So I had to get some app previews for that. So I have it in here and everything's looking good on this screen. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and export this out. So now that we have the Permi Match screenshot done and we have it imported into Photoshop and exported out, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google and we're going to go to here. It's called QURB, Q-U-R-B, and I'm going to upload that screenshot. So you can choose what phone you want. Um, for me, I want to use for, like I said, it's for the um, iPhone app store. So I'm going to go with the iPhone X, XX, and Max. We're going to add screenshot. Open and then I end up with a mock-up so as you can see, see that's pretty good you might see a little pink down here do not worry about that we'll fix that later uh, click save mock-up and it should download right away so now I'm completely done with this app and I can go back to Photoshop add a new layer background you can either hide or delete the background photo all right and then next one I'm actually going to add in is a mock-up photo on top so then I end up with my mock-up photo right here and make the photo slightly larger. And then you can get it to that 50, you know, just centered everything right there. It's how you want. If you want to bring it down, you can bring it down, put text at the top, bottom, or even make the photo smaller, your choice. And then what I like to do is I like to add a gradient in the background. If I want something to match like this background, what I will end up doing is first selecting the location that I like and then just pretty much choosing that color from here so if i choose let's say about this color right here for the first color foreground color and then on the background color i can choose like one of the lighter colors like maybe like right here and then on that new layer we're going to put that new layer in the back of this mock-up photo that we downloaded and we're going to add a gradient layer so if you press g on your keyboard it should take you here. Usually you'll have a bucket selected for the full fill. And as you can see, I already have gradient tool selected and you can see the way it's going from here. So pretty much if you start it from, let's say the very top, let me try to see if we can find that, and go straight down, it should go darker to lighter first. And if you wanted to flip that around, you can start from the bottom first. And to get a straight line, a uh, hold shift, and there you go. So now we have a nice background for our mock-up photo. And now when you end up exporting this one out, I'm gonna drop it in downloads. So right here we have final preview. And so pretty much when I open this up right here, or we let's say we inspect it first, we'll see that this is the correct dimensions for the Apple App Store. And the best part is all of this is free, no watermarks and Pretty much you can edit it whatever way you like without having to sign up or pay a monthly subscription to be able to, to use anything like this. So pretty much if this video has helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, uh, go ahead and drop some comments down below and we're going to keep these videos coming.